everyone, it is Hillary here, and today I wanted to do a page using the newest Creative Faith Cuttable called Release Love. And so this is um, what the kit comes with, and so I wanted to just kind of walk you guys through what is in the kit and then show a process video in my Bible using it. So this is the meat of it all, it's the devotion part. I um, talk about using, or what happened when I was walking to the car carrying a huge bunch of heart balloons. And so that is where the inspiration behind this devotion came from. I created this little lady wearing some overalls carrying balloons and this is just the kind of main piece and my favorite piece in the kit. So. Um, in the kit, you guys get a two-page devotion that walks through the story of the Good Samaritan. And then you also have a page with seven creative questions to get you started um, really pondering what the content talks about. And it gives you guys a lot of prompts and ideas to get started in Bible journaling. Or also you could use this um, in a notebook. And then it also comes with three traveler's notebook pages that you guys can use in your Bible or to create um, a little journal. These little houses kind of represent a neighborhood. And then you have the little girl standing there. You also get a um, sheet of all these little words. There's some verses and also some words that you can use on your pages. And there's this giant love is, and so I kind of thought it would be cool to put love is, like what is love equal? It equals hard work, equals sacrifice, equals, you know, stopping what we're doing to help others. Um, so you can kind of use those with that piece if you want. And some ones that you could use for a prayer. And then, so you have a big love equals and a little love equals. And another big phrase in this kit is go and do, go and do love. <laughs> and so that is really fun to use in the margins of your Bible. I created this piece, Release Love, that I thought could be used as a title. Um, for a title page, I created something similar with the Courage Creative Faith Cuttable. And so I thought this would kind of be neat to use as a cover. Um, our title for your release love kit. This piece I thought would be neat to print on sticker paper and use to highlight and it has the little balloons releasing and going up into the air. You got this awesome globe full of little hearts to represent, you know, what would the world look like if more people released love. And you get four little tabs um, one of them says release love, one of them says go and do. One of them is just plain, so you can write on that or add a sticker on the top of that one. And this one ha is probably my favorite tab, it has a little balloon. You get a set of little balloons and a string of houses. And I am looking forward to printing these on sticker paper and putting them on the bottom of a, of a Bible page. Then lastly, we have this little hymn tip in. This hymn is called Almighty God, I Humbly Ask, and it's not a very well-known hymn, but I just love the um, heart behind the hymn, and the lyrics are really speaking to me, asking God to direct our days and show how we can work on loving others. So that is what comes in the kit and I'm gonna put you guys on fast forward now and walk through how I am using these in my Bible. So today I am working, well, I'm really working in Luke 9 because Luke 10 is like the fullest section of my Bible. <laughs> um, so you can see I have journaled the parable of the Good Samaritan on the right side and then I went to go on the back side of the page because the story continues on the back side and that was full. So I'm going to be journaling it on this left side today. And I am using the most amazing handmade watercolors. I had never used handmade watercolors before. And I'd seen someone post about um, this Etsy store called Handmade by Rachel Beth. And so I went and checked her out and um, it I thought was 
reasonable priced and free shipping and so I ordered this set called Wild and Free and she has a bunch of different sets and each Friday she releases new ones and so I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to check her out but it is like my favorite little watercolor set it's so cute and little <laughs> and so it has five different colors and the colors in the watercolors uh, actually match perfectly with the kit which I didn't even plan <laughs> and the rose gold has some shimmer to it which I am loving and it comes in this cute little tin so I really enjoyed playing with these and so I'm just putting a watercolor wash on the backdrop and then I have printed off these elements on sticker paper and especially when you have a big sticker piece um, you have to be careful and kind of start at the bottom or start at one end and then put the rest down so it doesn't like wrinkle and mess up your page. And the, this girl in the overalls carrying the balloons to me just really represents uh, kind of hard work that comes from loving your neighbor. And in Luke 10, in the parable of the Good Samaritan, Jesus tells the, the man to go and do likewise. And so that was kind of a main theme um, about love being really hard work and that we should be going and also doing likewise to spread love. And if you guys have watched any of my videos before, you know that most of the time I print, I don't print things on cardstock so I kind of like to save my cardstock. And so then I just end up using my tape runner and adhering the tabs onto cardstock and then punching them out. So that kind of has been working well for me and that way I feel like I get a lot more out of my cardstock. <laughs> and then I'm going to use uh, two different kinds of washi tape and kind of layer it at the top and bottom. And I picked this blue color that matches the girl's overalls. And then I also have a little black one that I will also include. And I had the girl wear overalls. Like originally when I was creating her, I had her in this really cute dress. And then I was thinking about work and love and the story of the Good Samaritan and how he really paused and stopped what he was doing and it was a lot of work for him to love and care for the man on the side of the road like he had to put him on his donkey and he had to bring him somewhere and he had to you know clean his wounds and loving others is really hard work <laughs> i have been feeling super convicted especially after um writing this devotion and creating these images about how you know we really need to work in order to love those around us um and for example like we are doing a bake sale at church and i feel like i should contribute but you know i have to go to the store and buy you know cake mix and make something and package them and make little tags for them and so it's work but that is what love is. It's not something easy and it's a choice that we have to make every day. Um, so this sticker sheet and my boss, Dana, she got me for my birthday and so I have been loving. She got me three different sets but this one I thought was just so perfect for Valentine's Day and the colors also matched the kit which I did not plan. <laughs> And so I'm just adding a few stickers, some hearts, and a little wooden looking arrow. And then I'll also add a cute little butterfly, a blue butterfly to side on. And so I just have been loving using some new stickers and paper pieces that she got me to add to my Bible journaling pages. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. My kind of question of the day is, what is your favorite way to release love into the world? Um, and let me know so we can kind of encourage each other to do the hard work of loving those around us because that's what Jesus calls us to do. And please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'll be putting out new YouTube videos every Saturday and Tuesday. And I just hope that they're an encouragement to you all. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if it um, brought you some joy and some love today. I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of whatever you are doing today. <laughs> Bye!